and I'll have to meet the parents for breakfast for hostel and hotels about half a kilometer apart. Such a glut of small towns. So cool and they're all so fun. I'm gonna go through this gate, keep going on the, that was pretty cool. A lot of things that are generally like almost like built for the pilgrims and this is one of them. There's a big write up here about it, but it's in Spanish and Basque, so what do you do? Oh my God, look at this absolutely beautiful coffee. Beautiful morning, beautiful street, and I'm just gonna sit here and watch all the pilgrims come by. Yeah, mom and dad will be, oh, there they are. Mom and dad, dad and Evelyn, close enough. church. Oh my God. Well, you have to get my I had on my suitcase today because I gotta take some pictures. I have no picture. Is this a pomegranate tree? Oh, it looks like it. Yeah. Cool. Cool, you look back in the tunnel. Arga River is just much, much bigger now. Still doesn't look super deep, but definitely a lot wider. Pretty cool bridge. Big metal shell with a or big metal cross with a shell on it. Yeah. Gotta learn more about snails and what it is that puts them on, on these walls. There's so many. Over here. And they actually eat the leaves. See, look at them crawling up the leaves. The yep. Snails are taking over the trees too, the little guys. Yeah. Oh, natural. So Everywhere. I thought people may have picked the leaves, you know, because that's huh. what you use in your cooking. But it's the snails that are eating them. Oh, that's a nice one. There's another random wall in Europe. Jeez. Well, I thought that's the one you were. Well, right over there. Right there. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the one I thought you were playing to. Over there, there's another random church steeple. There's just, you know. Yeah. Probably will end up going through that town. shore up the highway that's the highway up there it's kind of a wall of cement mm. blackberries and blackberries and blackberries and yummy 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 so many Ouch. Good little climb to get our day started. Break us in. One climb down. It's quite elaborate, you know. Pretty cool stuff, you know. The old nice Templars used to have a lot of control here, so some of their stuff is still up around town. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. I don't want to walk in front of you. Oh, I'm sorry I blocked your your path. I know. Cut it out, Mark. Mark. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Someone rode a horse into town. It's the first time I've seen it. What a cool little town. Loving it. Just everywhere. Everywhere. Like, jeez. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, sorry. Right, right through town, saw all those cool emblems, but we didn't see the church. Oh well. Mm-hmm. Grapey grapes. Kind of cool. Just a picture perfect scene of a Spanish village like my lord it is completely European I mean there's none of this in national parks they don't build these big walls that sure as hell don't build walls that are probably through two three hundred years old at least I always get a shot of the sign coming in, otherwise there's no way I'm gonna keep these uh, European towns straight. There's gotta be one in here. built on a big frickin' hill. It's got a wicked view of everything. Very cool. If you descend out of that town, very cool old bridge. Yeah, you got a shot from the Camino after all for that bridge. Just this walls collapse over here. Just straight ahead, way in the distance. Quite the the band of cliffs. Yeah. Bigs. No, this is fine. Oh no, I'm okay. Uh, the wine grapes. Oh, oh yeah, we Big did. Trees. We did. We tried them. <laughs> Very the delicious. wine grapes. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool little rest area. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Books. Man, what is this? This is cool. Help us to build this rest area. Thanks. <laughs> cool. Book crossing. Free will offering. Instagram. And then a nice helpful sign letting us know how much time there is left. <laughs> how much? <laughs> Such a nice dad. <laughs> <Aww. Yeah. laughs> Hello. That's cute. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Aqueduct? Yeah, I can't see Got this very helpful book. It doesn't say anything about an aqueduct. Is this really an aqueduct? Awesome if it is. Maybe I just missed it in the reading, but why would they not mention the aqueduct? Like, we know nothing about it. You know, I don't even know if I've seen one before in my life.
almost time for lunch. Ah, huh, going through a pretty cool little archway. All right, now you can see how big it really is. You need some people in there to get some perspective. Oh yeah, not bad at all. Quite nice. I just heard the church bell a couple of times. It must be half past the hour. Every town today has a bit of a climb. Some pair of pictures. Well, we just had uh, something pretty cool happen. A real problem has been uh, things are closed. We're trying to plan where to have lunch, and things are closed. So, this is the second time this has happened to us. I, you know, we looked at this town. It had two private albergues, both with restaurants. So I figured one of them's gonna be open. This is where we'll stop for lunch. No, it was a vending machine. We walked past it looking for the albergues and no good. So we peek into this Cassia Nahia place. And you know, which kind of looks like, it looks, it's kind of a hotel and I actually like climb up the stairs smelling food and I actually poke my head in on someone's family dinner. It's like, okay, whoops. And you know, there was, it was stairs going up. There's no door or anything. I walked into like a reception area, then I walked upstairs. So I thought it was a restaurant. Um, next, you know, we explained to the guy and you know, sorry, sorry. Next thing you know, he is offering us a place to sit outside like around the table, he's bringing us food, he's bringing us water, he brought us all kinds of stuff. So, you know, like that is outstanding. That is super cool. We were actually real pilgrims for once. You know, we just relied on the kindness of strangers. He saw that we had, you know, crackers for lunch and he brought us food. And he also, he brought us meat and we didn't have a knife to cut it, so we said we're bad pilgrims. We don't have a knife. Pilgrims have a knife to cut things. I did. We did not know this. <laughs> this is pilgrims from the old days. Anyway, I mean that's a pretty cool. That's pretty awesome, man. That's yeah. These Spanish people are just super cool. So that's how we got lunch in the, the town of Lorsa. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like, you know how you're coming, yeah, you're coming off a farm and then you're about to get on the highway and you need to be, you have to stop at a stop sign? Man, that's really, <laughs> like where was, when was there a road here? Never. And when they, well, you can see actually there's two little, it was actually kind of a bridge, but they just left the stop sign there forever. Canada, huh? Once again, we got signs in Spanish and in Basque. Apparently about Canada. a sunflower crop that does not look like it was killed horribly and then right beside it there is one they planted it at different times or something cool I like this thing I've never seen one like this As you can see it pumping up and down 
water. This one here, some good old fashioned Western zero subtlety. Here is hostile. Boy, the vending machines in Spain have everything. You can get sex out of them or you can even grow. All right, so that is definitely, both of those are prophylactics condoms. This is all, yeah. I don't know what grow is, but I'm go ahead and guess that the sex is that. Always a medieval bridge. Why have a boring bridge when you're gonna have one from hundreds of years ago? Some another town, another church, another cool statue. Yeah. Some of these towns have been ripping us right by their churches without showing them, but not this one. I'm not even sure what this is, but I saw it from the trail. So I decided to speed walk ahead to get ahead of my dad and Evelyn so I can come check it out and then I'll go catch up to them. Oh, we got a little gate inside of it. You can actually go in. Awesome. Oh, I guess that's the main entrance. I don't know much about this. Probably something's in here, but it's in Spanish, so. Hmm. Cool, the old book provided. So, the ruins of the ancient Pilgrim Hospital in 10th century Hermitage. Wow. Yeah, it just says X 10th. Well, X and C. Okay, I don't know what, I don't know what century it is. And uh, Marcus, my, Saint Michael, or to the San Miguel Archangel, cited some of the earliest Christian iconography in Spain. Now moved to the Navarre Museum, Pamplona. Ironically, I was at the Navarre Museum in Pamplona, but I had no clue <laughs> about anything because it was all in Spanish. But I probably did see some of the iconography. Cool. It is cool that there are ruins from the old pilgrims. I used to come and do this purely for religious. You know, they would just come walking down here with not a, barely anything and go all the way down to Santiago and pick up a shell off the beach and then walk all the way back. That's, you know, I mean, all of us now are just gonna walk there and then take a plane or a train or something out of here. By the way, this is like 100 meters off the Camino, so it's worth it. It's worth a little side trip. Yeah, we got a nice little, you know, highway, easy to cross. But no, go all the way down here. And yeah, underneath the tunnel. Look how long this thing is, wow. That seemed like wholly unnecessary, but hey, you know. Kind of need to walk down it. So earlier today, I ran into another uh, YouTuber or blogger, whatever you want to call them. And I got to say, a um, little embarrassing, you know, she made me feel pretty insignificant. Young girl, good looking thing, you know, a million subscribers just also doing the Camino it makes me feel pretty insignificant with my 127 subscribers, right? So, you know, I've been thinking about that half the day, but I've been walking it off and, you know, I'm doing this for me as much as for anyone, any one of you who is watching. I want to see this again in 20 years. 
And uh, you know, I'm taking my own journey and she's taking hers. I will never get to a million subscribers. It'd be a miracle. And, uh, and I've said it before, I don't think I want to be doing this for a living anyways, right? This is just a fun thing, so. Hey, if you guys can get some fun out of it too, all the better. Instead of, up there we got a cross. And the Pilgrim Fountain. This hostel is 15 euro. It's more than I thought I'd be paying. I thought I'd pay like six or seven, but the municipal hostel is closed. Some of them couldn't pass muster during COVID. So what's awesome. Now I have an adapter for this thing. I forgot it in Puente de Arena. That sucked. So I went down and talked to the, uh, the lady down at reception. She dug around and lost and found and here we go. She found one. It was the only one that was there, too. And she was like, if it works, keep it. So there you go. And now mine is in the Lost and Found box in Puente La Arena, Circle of Life, right? That's just awesome, right? That's just super cool stuff. This is a super cool hangout area, man. And we're in the basement, and over there... They just have windows, and then the rock is there. That is cool. You even, no, you can't open the windows. Yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> and she yeah. turned the other day at two in the morning. into a, an old folks home. Just love towns in Europe for traveling. I think trying to own a car and all this would be a total nightmare, but why own a car in this, right? This is just awesome. I can't believe this, but it almost starts to get old. I right? almost start to get jaded to all the insane old chapels. Bizarre on these walls. What are they doing? Okay, it just kind of just kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. So many cool buildings in the Stella. It's full of life too, just teeming. Obviously, this is not a lot, but you know, it's a Sunday night for God's sake. So there's all these people. Pretty cool little town, man. They seem like they're always cool. It's just so much fun here in Europe. It really is. <laughs> 